storytelling fallacy, anthropopsychic projection, you decide. Emily was written over a period of about a year in late 1983 and 84, recorded in the sound studio of the New School for Social Research in New York while I was doing my grad work in media theory there. And this is all background embedded in, so it is not uh, an info dump as much as it is Arthur within the fiction telling you where he was coming from. All the reptiles were in on the garage sessions where this music was hammered out. And um, yes, well, we did use hammers, as a matter of fact, in a rented house in East Flatbush, Brooklyn. We rented the basement of the garage. And on Saturdays that summer, we would trudge equipment and Valentine Ales up the stairs out to the squat 1940s block brick monster. Temperatures inside were often in excess of 100 degrees. Ow. Reptiles don't have the best heat management. And then the song listing and the lyrics for each of the songs on the album. The one you just heard at the stop, at the start, looking at a picture of you traveling through time. Cape Fear, part one, Astronaut. Emily, what do I say to you? I've been walking alone. Pain. Cape Fear, part two, the stand-in. Equals, now and forever the same. White Subway, title from a story by William S. Burroughs really an influence on Arthur Newkirk's fictional style. And an interesting thing about, there seems to be a, a preoccupation with time and time machines. And here's a song titled, Moving Clocks Run Slow, with a refrain, I learned a long time ago, moving clocks run slow a reference to relativity. So we have looked at final cuts. We have looked at the oracle. And here is the fictionary of the Bezars. Um, at the time, this would have a, been an association that people might have made to a book by Mira Pavic called Dictionary of the Quesars, which was an attempt to write a novel as a series of dictionary entries. There's no other way to put it. Um, so clearly, Buddy Newkirk would have been interested in that since he was taking notes and writing things in hypertext. So the Fictionary of the Bezars is subtitled A Bunch of Words and Slugged. This is the edition of the Fictionary which exists in your particular space-time. Other space-times may all be almost identical, but not exactly. You have been warned. And the insipid book jacket for tourists, wrecked long gone, yet reading me, you are this. The list of words in the fictionary range from things that may be familiar, like the agon, or the word albedo, or asymptote, to things that are, frankly, idiosyncratic, like bagel stretcher, or cardboard cone. Let's take a look at bagel stretcher. Rigid descriptor, the persistent incorrect solution to a rebus puzzle printed in the caps of bottles of Haffenreffer malt liquor, the favorite rep reptilian beverage. Of the many beer cap rebuy, only this one, which was determined by Dr. Holm to be do not litter and organize a paper drive, which was misinterpreted for years as Monkey, monkey, you're a conductor. Proved repeatedly resistant and hence became objects of cult status. Sense two, by analogy to sense one, any abstruse in the sense of recondite, puzzle or diversion. E.g., in the Infocom text adventure game, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, 
the machinations required to obtain the bagel fish. Usage, that's a fucking bagel stretcher. Um, for those who may not recall, uh, there was a top of the room cleaning robot, a bag of mail, and a towel involved in all of that somewhere. And it's been a while since I played the game, but trust me, it was in fact a bagel stretcher. Uh, you can, in this stack, apparently click on words, and some of them will take you to someplace else. But some of them don't link at all. So I'm just going to click back here and see if we will take one more word from this. Hyper real. Hyper real. Descriptor, Baudrillard 83. French semiotician Jean Baudrillard's term for the illusory surface of everyday life produced by the machineries of postmodern culture. Disneyland, for example, is an HR simulation of reality designed to make us forget what a charnel house the rest of our society is. The president is a hyper real figure who exists not as a human being but as a nexus of public opinion data and the long-range goals of those in power. The idea of the hyperreal has strong affinities to illusory reality in Buddhism, see Essencing, and the Gnostic paranoias of Philip K. Dick, particularly in his Dallas trilogy. Suppose, just for an instant, that everything they told you was a lie. How would you ever find out? Just kidding, folks. Let me make joke. And then on the other side of the page is an exact copy of that page labeled the Always Already Reproduced, which if you were a French semiotician, you would probably find. To quickly review some of the other stacks that are accessible from this, this page, there is an art gallery which contains pictures of Buddy Newkirk, who is the Funhouse. There is a screenplay called Sooner or Later, which apparently appears to have been produced by SOL Productions. Certain sequences have been changed or deleted in this version, and it appears to be well, it's set in the superconducting super collider, which in those days would not have been an alternate reality. And let's just read one screen here. It begins with a black screen. It began as all things did with light. Slide. Slide labeled time zero, a small white dot in the center of the screen. At the beginning of the universe, this is all there was, an intrusion of energy which created our space and time. Slide, slide labeled zero plus epsilon, a somewhat larger white dot. Voice, of course, quite rapidly this energy expanded and as it did, it lost its initial symmetrical nature and froze into the particles and forces we recognize. Slide, slide labeled now. Superimposed over a backdrop of galaxies, the two families of particles and forces. Voice. The goal of our work was to return to that primal energy to find out what in its innermost self the universe is really made of. Slow pull back and pan to reveal the screen, then as the pan continues, a figure standing at a podium backlit by the projector. Before I talk about our results, I'd like to share with you a bit of our process.